Hi kids, I am so excited to get to be with you today and to celebrate with you Christmas in July. How do you like my little Christmas tree here and my stocking and my funny Christmas sweater? I know, I know. Doesn't it make you just kind of want to smile though to think about celebrating Christmas in July? Yeah, yeah, I think we need a little bit of fun. Yeah, so we are talking about the real Christmas story the real Christmas story. And, you know, last week we talked about Mary, but tonight we're gonna to be talking about Joseph, who is the obedient father. What does it mean to be obedient? Yeah, that's right. It means to do what somebody asks you to do. And Joseph was asked to do something very special that he didn't really even have to do. So we're gonna talk about that some more. But first, I'm gonna ask Rudy to come and help us tell our story. Rudy, can you say hi? Oh, very nice. And Rudy has a bell. You hear his bell? Yeah. Rudy helps us tell the story. So every time you hear me say the name Joseph, you can either stand up or you can sit down or you can raise your hand, put your hand down, whatever you'd like to do so that you can stay um, in the story with us, okay? So let's hear the story about Joseph. Oh, I tricked you, okay. Well, today's Bible story is found in the book of Matthew chapter one. Remember what we learned last time about Jesus's mother, Mary? The angel of God appeared to her and told her that God had placed a baby in her tummy. She was to name him Jesus and he would be savior of the world. Well, as you can imagine, this was very difficult for Joseph to believe. He wasn't sure how to handle a fiance who thinks she's seeing angels and having God's son. He decided he would just break off the engagement to Mary quietly. He didn't want to bring any shame upon Mary at all. He loved her, but he was very confused about all this. Well, just when Joseph was going to break off his engagement, guess who appeared to him as well? That's right, the angel appeared to Joseph. Yep, and told him, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Joseph was a little scared by the angel appearing out of nowhere, I'm sure. But he listened very carefully as the angel gave him God's instructions. And he said this, she will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. Now you have to understand something. Back in those days, the name that you gave a child was very important. It often carried a meaning with it. Joseph had probably already thought about what name he wanted to give his very firstborn son. But now the angel was telling Joseph that God already had a name picked out. It would have been easy for Joseph to have said no. He could have ignored the angel's instructions and just continued with his plan to break off his engagement with Mary. But that's not at all what he did. Joseph did exactly what the angel told him to do. He obeyed. And he even thought it meant that everyone else, even though he thought no one else would understand. He obeyed God, even though it was a very hard thing to do. I'll tell you what, Rudy, that Joseph, he was a pretty good guy, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a pretty good guy. He obeyed God and he stuck in there with Mary. And do you know that by doing that, he got to be Jesus's earthly father. It's pretty amazing, right? All right, well, Rudy, thank you. Will you come help tell the story next week? Okay, all right, bye-bye. We'll put Rudy right over here and he can listen to the rest of our time together here. Well. Don't you think that it was an amazing thing that Jesus did, that Joseph did when that angel came and talked to him? You know, Joseph obeyed even when it didn't make any sense. Has that ever happened to you? Have your parents asked you to do something and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever what they told you to do? Yeah, that happens a lot. And you know what? Someday, it'll probably make sense. Yeah. And do you know, Joseph even obeyed when it cost him something. 
Yeah. He was worried that his reputation would be ruined by the fact that Mary got pregnant before they were married. Yeah. Joseph obeyed even when it cost him something. And so what we learn from Joseph is that when I obey God, God will bless me. When we obey God, God will bless me because when Joseph obeyed God, he got to be Jesus's earthly father. So I encourage you to think about that this week. Um, think about how you can obey somebody in your life. Maybe that's your parent. Maybe you will obey what they ask you to do without um, being upset with them. Or maybe even without even being asked, you will do something that they have asked you to do in the past that you know is important to them. And when we do that, we practice our obedience to God as well. I hope you have a wonderful week. Um, and if you want to join us for some fun games, that's what we're doing on Wednesday nights during our Zoom calls. We are just playing some really fun games. And then you can come back and watch these videos with our lesson anytime during the week. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time.